All right, guys, so last night when I was editing, probably, I don't know, like two in the morning or so, I looking through the footage, I, I think I realized why I was having all the fitment issues in the back. Um, and I even put a little a note in there um, toward the end. If you go back to, I think it was like 14 minutes and 10 seconds or 15 minutes and 10 seconds, you can see where the two buttons in the front are very tight, but the other part, the plastic deal that uh, goes into the channel there they have a ton of slack probably like an inch and that's like the inch that I needed in the back because it's clear in all those struggles that there it was too tight in the back like upper corner <laughs> so um, I'm gonna unsnap those two front things try to pull it to where that little plastic deal rides up into that groove and see if that gives the slack needed to where everything else fits in the back so wish me luck Let's see if this makes any more sense what i just said these are these are really tight and it's the material is stretched really far right here but this is supposed to ride in this groove and i can't almost can't even push it back it's it's forcing it forward so far so i'm gonna undo these put this in the groove and i'm hoping all that slack is exactly what i needed in the back for everything else to line up got to use a screwdriver because doing it by hand, I broke one of the ones in the back yesterday. I don't want to do that again. Alright. My brother stopped by, so he's going to help me get this thing into the groove. Okay, I'm going to go in the back and kind of pull, okay? okay. Definitely took up some of the slack. Yeah, I can already tell that gives me a little more slack back here. These still don't line up correctly though. See this? Uh -huh. <laughs> this just keeps popping right out. It... Yeah, bring in another helper since you lost Wayne, huh? I know. <laughs> I texted him to see if he made it all. He hasn't responded. Did you take it off? Uh-huh. I'm going to turn this around and back it in. And hopefully the sunlight will allow it to stretch. Then I just made a delivery. I don't know what we got, but hopefully something good. So... Just got a delivery. Not sure what it is, but the only thing I order is stuff for this, so it's gotta be something cool. Oh cool. This looks like the rubber seal kit. If I want to open it too much, it's going to go everywhere, but so I cut the rubber seals with my knife, so that would be cool. Anyways, you can kind of see it's all the rubber you need for around the doors, and I'm hoping the windshield too. I'm not sure because I'm going to get that front. Uh, the windshield replaced, so. Anyways, very cool. Let's see what's in this one. This knife is not as sharp as it used to be. Protect it in the bubble wrap, whatever it is. regulators. Kind of odd that it's only the window regulators. I bought these. These are the part that like scissor up and down when you crank the windows. 
Oh, and this is all the components in there to make that nice and smooth. Anyway, uh, I ordered this with the inside handle, the outside handle, the window crank, the pull uh, straps on the doors, and some other stuff. So maybe it's like the soft top where they come in separate packages at separate times. But well, cool stuff is steadily trickling in. So now we got more stuff to play with. We will see. Funny when I was looking at this yesterday, I was wondering about that, but I thought that was way too much. Yeah, it's been like that for forever because I can see the paint mark right there. Okay, what happened to that hardware? Right here. Okay, cool. <laughs> and it goes uphill now. Don't know if that's how it's supposed to look, but that sure gets a lot of the wrinkles out of the windows. So we'll try the same thing on this side. Come on. 
the sun again. I think so. It's not take it off. Yeah, it shrank up. Park it in the sun. So that's what it looks like now. Um, considerably better. Less wrinkles in the windows. But, and maybe that will smooth out in time. <laughs> These clearly are probably not going to get buckled back in. I may, I may end up trying to move it, but where would I move it to? Right on the corner? I don't think so. Um, that part seems to be in now. So. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I still can't get some of the zippers to work, but overall it's good enough. I can leave it like this while I work on it. And I gotta get new hardware and fix that one button and stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll see how she looks in like a week or so. Getting some sunshine on it, stretching out. The uh, <laughs> where I get this stuff, uh, Advance Auto, it's like one of the closest places to my house. Um, they only carry one of each, like oddball uh, spray paint thing. So I asked them the other day, I said, So would I have to like order more? Or what's the deal? And they said, oh, well, we got each store. He, he checked a couple stores and said, oh, each store carries like one. So I called him the other night and said, can you, when they're dropping parts off to this store, can you have them drop off another can? And he checked and said, yeah, sure. So um, did that. I was actually supposed to go pick it up yesterday and I forgot. So I think I, after I shoot these, I'll probably run down and get some coffee and head over to Advance Auto and uh, pick that up. But the soft top is on. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's on good enough to like drive around and kind of stretch out in the sun and stuff. So. And that thing's going to have to come off several times to, you know, I got to do a lot of painting and fix the floor and there's so much stuff. But anyways, it's kind of exciting that lots of parts are showing up now. Um, I will be busy for a long time. It's like in the beginning you're just waiting for parts to show up and then as they all start to show up it gets kind of overwhelming. It's like, oh my god, I was looking at the the seals and stuff, that's going to be like at least a day probably, and then the uh, the window actuator dealies, uh, regulators, I'm like, man, all that stuff's probably at least a day. <laughs> so, exciting though. Alright. I guess I can hit these guys. I still got to tape this off and do that gray around the outside of that one. I think we decided we were doing these black, right? I hope so. I mean, they're already black.
hopefully, I'm gonna, I think I'll leave these cans sitting in the sun. I don't think they'll explode, but hopefully they'll be a little warmer when I get back. This will be my first time driving her with this uh, top. It's pretty cool. It's like enclosed. I gotta go pick up that other can of that specialty paint. Oh. I'll try not to speed. But I'm such a freaking moron. Look at this shit. I took off with the uh, with the tape on my hood. What a moron! And I was like gunning this out of the neighborhood because I have to absolutely floor it to try to get it. Let me out. I gotta work on that. I'm gonna die trying to get out of this freaking thing. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, let's try this again. Alright. We're clear? We're clear. Okay. One, two, three. Four. Watch how far over fifth is. Ugh, I think above a certain speed, I hear like a horn, like Whoa! You guys hear that? I didn't hear that before the top went on. gets incredible mileage. I only had them put 15 because um, I was paying cash and I don't exactly know where my fuel gauge is at because I don't currently have a fuel gauge but I know that when I left Three Points Arizona it was uh, about a half a tank and it's driving all the way back here to Tucson and then driving around up to my parents to Circle K several times to the store several times um, it's just barely below a half, so it didn't even use a quarter of a tank doing all that. So bummed about that and how I'm missing that. I need to rig something up. Gosh, that would be a stretch to get it to pull down that far. Just pulled up here to the parts store and I just thought of something. Um, the other day when I pulled the screws out of this, I think I left them on the floor here. I've driven it several times since then. I hope I, oh, thank God, they're right there. Okay, phew. I was checking the glove box and everything. I was like, oh man, that would suck. Cool, I'm good. All right, I'm gonna go get the paint. Oh, here comes the paint. Got me some paint. Awesome. Wait for me. These things are so cute. Come on. I never remember. I look real professional, don't I? Let's see if I can actually figure it out on this side. Pretty simple. I was gonna get these online because these are $15 each. But even online, they were like $10 to $15 a piece. And, uh, Yeah, even online they were like 15 bucks, 10 to 15 bucks. And we actually do get a lot of rain here in Arizona in the winter, so I was like, well, I might as well just have them in case I'm driving and it starts pouring. 
What am I doing? Good. You on there? Okay. Hey, um, pulling this guy back out. I'm gonna try to race the sun and paint this dash before it gets dark. Before it gets too cold. Come on, baby. And go down and pick up that second can of paint. Because they ordered it for me. This is already painted. Oh no. Alright. I need to cut that so I can get this out. I was looking at it, one of the wires isn't even attached, so that's probably why it's not lighting up. Okay, there's that. Back in so I don't lose them. Strip them out. You didn't see me do that. That's toast. Oh, yeah. And then these look like a number three. Okay. I forgot to put it in reverse and just snapped. I don't know if you guys can see that. I just snapped the bit. Is that even going to come out of there now? Yeah, okay. So that's what I was just saying. Use the correct bit. Use a number three when it's a number three. Let me go see if I have another one. Okay. In reverse this time. I'm just kind of afraid that if I I want to pull this off so I can paint this, but does that mean this whole front part's gonna fall off? I guess I should check that before I completely remove them. Still in there, pretty solid. I like to paint these separately. Trying to decide if I should drill out this this uh, serial number here, VIN number. I don't know if you get in trouble for doing that. Um, I have a rivet gun, so I can rivet it back in. Just not sure if that's against the law. I don't see why it would be. I think it would look a lot better than taping it off. You guys wouldn't rat me out, would you? I wouldn't rat you out.
Okay, guys, let's see. I got some. Started pulling these off because I got replacement everything for those, but got uh, one coat on the dash. Um, probably gonna hit it again in the morning. Um, looks pretty good. I mean, it's getting kind of dark, so I can't really totally tell, but it looks, looks pretty good. I really like this paint the way it turns out. And then, uh, Got the other stuff over here. And that paint goes a long way too. I like did all these parts, painted a little bit the other night, did the glove box, and just did the dash. And I still probably have a third of a can. So, but I think these are gonna look really good too. Um, these should all be dry, but I think these will look, let's see if I can get it in there without scuffing it up. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to... Okay. Don't you guys think that'll look good? Let's see here. I don't want to push it all the way in, but... Might be dry enough to... Take the little tape deal off. Come on. <sighs> Gotta dab that. I'll probably put some white paint on a Q tip or something and just dab it because it's raised it's raised lettering so that won't be too hard but I think she'll look really good and then the dash is gonna look freaking I mean the uh, instrument cluster is gonna look amazing let me grab that because in the other video I did that you know, clean the glass really good or clear plastic and this should be dry now but nice it'll look like brand new so maybe that should have been the thumbnail picture anyways uh yeah tomorrow man it's starting to get exciting because i got a lot of really cool stuff and i was totally wrong so i was looking at all this uh all these rubber kit you know that there's two things right here that are really like stiff so i don't know if that's for the part that goes around the windows on the doors um but this here i never dug into it earlier but i believe this contains all the uh handles and everything too i better I better use the alpha where'd it go right here yeah so i'm thinking i have all that stuff now i can Go ahead and, and press the doors. It's going to really start coming together here. Yeah, so there's a couple handles. I need to make sure they give me the right door handles with the locks in them. Uh, I don't think they did. Great. See what we got in here. Maybe that looks like outside handles. Jeez, oh, doing stuff one-handed again. <laughs> I just can't. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? Well, this sucks. This is not... I don't think that's what... 
No, this is not correct. Um, mine have the locks in them. Unless there's more stuff in here, but it doesn't look like. Yeah, that just looks like actual uh, window regulators. But these aren't right. Unless I ordered these separately or something. Yeah, the ones I ordered have the lock in here. So, huh. Well, I'll have to go back and look at what I ordered. But anyway, I do have a lot of stuff to play with. Got the outside handles, got the window cranks. Let's see if they're any kind of quality. Yeah, this honestly looks pretty damn cheap. I guess, guess these are the size for the little grab handles on the door, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's them. I've got these. I've got the outside ones. So we can do quite a bit. Um, and I might have to contact the company about getting the correct ones of these. I'll have to see what I ordered. But uh, anyways, guys, lots of cool stuff coming up. So stay tuned. I hope you guys have a great night. Thanks for watching.